What's up, homies? Crypt Keeper here, and I'm going to be casting a 1 versus 1 TVZ. The Zerg player is going to be Zerg King, King of all Zergs. And his opponent is going to be the Blue Terran Select. Very good Terran player. So what I'm going to be doing on my channel is I really I've been playing a lot of StarCraft, and most of the games that I've been playing on the bronze level really haven't been upload worthy. Either I got pwned really fast, or I pwned them really fast, and either way they were just short games, and I really want to start bringing you guys games on the professional level. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to cast a game on the professional level, and then I'm going to cast a game from my point of view playing in the bronze league. So that way you guys can see some professional level gaming, and then you can see me gaming at the bronze level. So this map is Metalopolis. Um, let's talk a little bit about the players. I've heard about these players actually quite a bit uh, with the name Zerg King. You know he's good at Zerg, so this should be a very awesome replay. Looks like Select's just going to go out with an early scout here. I'm not sure if he opted to wall off. Yes, he pretty much have to wall off against Zerg, so that's what he's doing. He's going to come in here and just park his SCV there. going to try and deny that quick expansion for Zerg King because I'm almost certain that's what he's going for. Yeah. There you can see probe on probe action there. And Select's just going to spin his probe in circles for as long as he can. Zerg King does have an Overlord in his base, so he's going to want to get a Marine out and take care of that as quick as he can. Is he going to be training a Marine? Yes, he's training one Marine before the Tech Lab or the Reactor Core on that. He's actually going to be rallying his Marine to the other side of his main. Hopefully he'll catch that Overlord, but I'm pretty sure that Overlord will be long gone by the time that Marine is finished. Back at the natural for the Zerg player, it looks like this probe's going to run away all scared. Getting out the first queen for the Zerg player, he did get that spawning pool. I'm not sure, it was most likely a 14 pool? Most likely a 14 pool from Zerg King. Also going to be researching... <laughs> researching. He's going to be researching the metabolic boost for the Zerglings. Very standard. Just so he can get those Zerglings across the map just that faster. Also, the natural expo is going to start going up. What have we got here? Four Zerglings, gonna try and do some harass. Let's see if they can do any damage here. Not a very good wall off, but these three Marines are gonna catch these Zerglings and make short work of them. Very good micro there from Select. Getting his first factory down, he only... Is that a reactor core? Yeah. Getting a reactor core and his first factory down. Looks like he's going for that 111 Destiny Cloud Fist build. I would not be surprised to see a starport after this factory. Uh, but it looks like he's going to move his factory. Maybe do a proxy factory type thing. Oh no, he's just going to be switching the reactor core on his factory with his barracks. Going to see some early Hellions coming out. Some early Hellion harass. Always very effective against the Zerg player. One Zergling getting taken out there, and it looks like he's going to move his barracks down to his natural expo just to wall off his natural expo against any Zergling run-bys or anything, because I cannot tell you how many times I have just been utterly destroyed by Zergling run-bys. So this is a good move, walling off his natural expo. A Zerg King just transferring all his droves onto his natural expo. What else has he got going here? Spreading his creep, always good to see that, get that extra speed on your Zerglings. I'm not sure how far he's going to spread this creep. I would like to see it go all the way across the map, but that can't always be done, as you very well know. Only running off of one gas. I think he probably should be picking up his second gas here pretty soon. Roach Warren going down, so we're going to see most likely mass roaches from Zerg King. And he's just got a few Zerglings patrolling his natural expo. Now we do have a couple Hellions coming out here for some harass. 
Will he catch those Zerglings? Yes, he will. So obviously, not much Zerg King can do with his Zerglings against those Hellions because they just roast them so quick, the good micro. There's really nothing you can do. However, Hellions will not help you mid-game. So he's going to be taking that Zelnalga Watchtower to watch for any incoming attacks. We do have a few roaches coming in. I'm not sure how effective this will be, but it will be pressure nonetheless. These Hellions are going to see that and try to destroy them. No! He's going to flee his Hellions. Man, I would really like to drive one of those Hellions around town. <laughs> anyway, a couple Marauders, three Marauders coming out now for select. Man, those Marauders look scary. One bunker going down, very good positioning on that bunker. Forcing any Zerglings or anything to run through his natural expo mineral line if they want to get into the main, they are going to have to run around that bunker, if not take it out first. So, a lot of Hellions, a lot of Marauders, a few Marines, it looks like he's going to be pushing out for an attack right here, I'm not sure what Zerg King has for defenses. Really, not too many defenses for Zerg King here. Just a few Zerglings and Roaches. These three Roaches are not going to be able to take on these pot six Hellions. Yeah, Roach is getting absolutely pwned right there. I definitely thought he should have retreated those long ago. This push here might do the trick. And the Zerglings are going to get a full surround on all these units. Select is trying to micro the best he can. Drones even coming in to help with the attack. I'm not sure how successful that's going to be, but it looks like Zerg King is going to fend off this attack with help from his drones and queens. Those pesky queens are so hard to take down sometimes, so... Good defense there from Zerg King. Looks like he's going to move out for a counter attack here with his speedlings. No. No, not going to counterattack. He does have that third expo just finishing right now. He's going to try and saturate that as quick as he can. He also has a couple Zerglings on both these watchtowers. That always helps uh, when you want to identify incoming attacks. Now, a speedling run by here. Looks like he's not going to go into Select's base. I'm not sure what he's doing here. Looks like he's just scouting around. Sending all his Zerglings to all these Expos just so he knows if Select is going to try and expand here. Good move from Zerg King, but he is not going to counterattack. He is going to just amass his forces here. Let's see what Select's got going. He lost all his units in that first attack, so by now he has gathered together a, a few reinforcements. Looking at the units lost tab... It is actually Zerg King who has lost 46 units, and Select has only lost 20. However, Select has lost 2,000 resources, and Zerg King only 1,700. So things are looking kind of even right now. Let's take a look at the production tab. It looks like Select King is going to be upgrading his Zerg Ground Level 1 and many, many units, a bunker and a Viking and a Siege Tank coming out for Select. After losing that battle, oh, a couple of Zerglings running into the main here. Gonna get taken out quite easily. I definitely would have liked to see those Zerglings just kind of stick around over here and take out some SCVs. But that Siege Tank was very able to deal with that single Zergling. Getting that third expo saturated, always good to see that, and a mass of speedlings morphing into, morphing? yes, morphing into banelings here, so that is definitely not good for these marines and marauders here, obviously banelings, very good against marines, although if you do want to try and fight banelings, if you have the micro for it, it's not too terribly difficult to try and defend against banelings if you have the micro for it. So we'll see if Select's micro is enough to hold up against these mass banelings. Not too many banelings, only four, six banelings. 
many speedlings. I'm not sure when he's going to push out for the attack here. Oh, he is getting that Baneling speed. That is very crucial to get that Baneling speed. Otherwise, Marines can just snipe them out so fast. So we have speedlings and Baneling speed. That could be very, very dangerous for the Terran player as he is pretty much just stuck to his his main and his natural here as you can see the Zerg King getting his fourth expo here this could be very dangerous select needs to expand otherwise he's just gonna get out and macroed so that fourth expo just finishing now he's got all his expos completely saturated let's look at the income tab 70 harvesters for the Zerg player against the Terran players 52 so Zerg King is very, very far ahead in economy right now. Uh, let's take a look at the army size. Things are even in army size. It looks like the Zerg player has a few more speedlings than the Terran player. Just mass speedlings at this point. You really want to try and get a surround on your enemies. Otherwise, you know, in a choke point, it's definitely not going to be good for you. And holy shit, how many banelings do we have here? 34 banelings for Zerg King with only 14 Zerglings and an infester on the field. So we might see some infested Terrans. That would be fun to see. But it looks like he's just going to amass his army over here to his fourth expo, which is getting taken down by a Marine drop. However, those Marines are just going to get melted away by those Zerglings. Was a good attempt, but uh, unfortunately, this mass of Banelings and Zerglings is just too quick. And Ter the Terran player is going to be pushing out here, sieging his tanks in the best possible position, pushing in his Marines, stimming his Marauders. And I am very interested to see what's going to happen with all these Banelings. For some reason, he has all his Overlords kind of rallied to the same point, too. <laughs> That's kind of odd. But another attack coming in. All these Zerglings are going to try to run into the main. This one siege tank is going to try and hold off all these Zerglings. And a Baneling boss coming in. This is going to be ugly. Oh, taking down all those supply depots. Wrecking off the wall off. That tank is definitely going down. We have Banelings in the main base of the Terran player. This is definitely not good. However, the Terran player is going to try and counterattack. But there's just too many Banelings. And oh, man. That was really just sad. Really poor micro from Select. As you can see, those Banelings just absolutely pwned his entire army. I don't think he was ready for that. Hey, this was a really good game. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys later.